Are you sick of going out, taking action, interacting with women, and just not getting anywhere? You know, you're putting in the time, you're going up, you're doing your approaches, but you still fucking suck, and you just feel like you're spinning your wheels, okay? This is a question I got recently where it's like, you know, I've been going out for over a year now, taking action, like literally almost seven nights a week, and I just am not good. You know, I'm not getting the results that I should be getting. Some of my friends who have been in this as long as me are doing so much better, like so much better, and I don't know why it's just not working for me, okay? Why is it not working if I'm going out talking to girls? Like, you're the one who says, you know, if you just go out, interact with women, you will become good at interacting with women. You know, trust your brain to make the adjustments. I watch the videos as well. I know the theory. What can I do more? And why is it just slow for me? Guys just go out for years at a time sometimes, and they just still suck. Like, why do you think so many people are just stuck in like, you know, the newbie paradigm or like intermediate purgatory? What they mainly forget is that they never ever analyze our nights out, and when they do, they do it the wrong way. Analyzing your night out, especially the next day, like a little nerd, like sitting down, writing down your sets, writing down your interactions, trying to remember every single detail of the night, writing down your lessons, is just as important as actually going out and taking action, okay? You have to do both. If you're just blindly going ahead taking action, you're not really gonna know what your blind spots are, what your sticking points are, and you're just gonna keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. Okay, and I'm not joking, like you could literally go out a year and just start going up to girls and be like, hey, and like scare them away. And if you just don't take the time to step back, analyze what you're doing, okay, what could I fix? What am I doing wrong? How does this relate to the theory that I've been watching? You're gonna keep doing the same thing and you're just not gonna get good, okay? So you have to come from the nerdy perspective of actually taking the time to sit down and write down what happened. Now, the way I go about it, and this is what I recommend every single student to go about it after boot camp, is every single night you go out, Okay, because you can't really compare and start you know, measuring your success in terms of the external results. Like you can't be like, well, did I get a make out? Did I fuck a girl? Am I progressing or not? Because a lot of it is internal. Okay, you learn just as much from a good night out as a bad night out. But the best way to see the real progress is to write down your three best sets. Okay, and by best sets, I mean like three interactions that stood out to you, like good or bad, like the three important interactions followed by three lessons that you learned. Okay, that's it. That's how you should measure your success and that's how you should break down your nights. Three sets that were important to you. What this does is it cements the night in your mind, okay? Because you can be going out, talking to girls, and if it's emotionally overwhelming, like you don't even remember what the fuck happened. It's like this big blur. And I see this like on boot camp. I'm like, okay, well, uh, what were some interactions last night? And they're like, I, I don't really know. I, I don't remember, it's just like blurry. And I'm like, if you're not actually, you know, trying to consciously focus on this, like, the next day or if you realize you can't remember while you're out, how the fuck do you want to remember what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong? It's just a blur. You're just going out, you're taking action, yes, but if it's a blur, there's nothing to take out of it. It's ultimately, you know, somewhat of a waste of time. So you should be consciously noticing like, okay, this is happening, this is happening, I talked to this girl, this girl, and the next day you should at least be able to think of three interactions that just stand out to you, okay? Then you're going to write down three lessons. For example, you know, oh, I'm not being physical enough. Strong eye contact works. Awesome. Like write down three lessons and this is how you notice your sticking points. Okay? Because if you go out over like a month or maybe like three months or even a week, you know, in your three lessons, if one of the lessons just starts sticking out, like, oh, not being physical enough, not being physical enough, and all the others kind of change, that's your sticking point. That's how you pinpoint what you should work on. You know, it's like, oh, I should be more physical. You fix that. Then there's going to be another lesson just stands out a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. New sticking point. Oh, strong eye contact. Fix that. And that's how you know what to work on versus just blindly going out. Okay? Watching the videos as well. Training your mind to like know, like, you know, training your RS to like know what to focus on and like installing like the lenses in which you're just gonna view your interactions and view your night out. Super fucking key. If you can watch a video before you go out, highly recommend it, even the next day. Whenever I watch videos, I always compare it to things that happened to me. Don't just view them and be like, okay, uh, what are the lessons to learn this video? Ask yourself, okay, well, how does this relate to something that happened to me? Because that's how you internalize it. You can understand it on one level and be like, okay, that was solid information, awesome, I get what he says. But when you do it, you're like, ah, oh, that's what he said in the video. Fuck yeah, click. It becomes internalized. And that's how you build concepts and like you just make them more and more solid, okay? Watching videos, breaking down your nights. And thirdly, focusing on the positive, okay? And this is so fucking key. Every single time on bootcamp after the first night, I see all these like victim mindsets. Like guys are like, well, it was awesome. This girl really liked me, but 
it was probably because she was drunk or, you know, it was because she was like not that hot. It was because she was already social, you know, or, or it was because, you know, the other student talked to her beforehand and warmed her up for me. That's the only reason she liked me. And they're not acknowledging the fact that, no, it's like she liked you. Why? Because you're awesome. That's the only reason why. And you have to start viewing yourself that way and you have to overblow the positive. Okay. And this is how I go about it. I take the lessons from the negative. You have to take the lessons from the negative. But once I take the lessons, I just delete that shit from my mind and I overblow the positive. I really, really do. Like if the girl likes me, who cares if she's drunk? She could even be drunk. She could be like the most ugly girl who just likes everyone there. If she comes up to me and she's like, you're awesome. You're so hot. I'm just like, fuck yeah. I'm awesome, that's why she likes me. It's not because she's disgusting, it's not because she's drunk, it's not because she's easy, it's just because I'm awesome. Why did that girl react well to my physicality? Because I'm awesome. And I just reframe it that way and just replay those scenes in my mind, okay? Never start feeling sorry for yourself if you go out. Never be like, you know, it's because I suck. Like people are just giving me these little opportunities. It's like, no, overblow the positive and like really, really overblow it. It's like kind of be delusional about it and replay those scenes in your mind. Okay. Every time, for example, you know, if say you hit state or you get in the zone, everything starts clicking, replay that in your mind. The more you replay it, the more you're going to be able to identify yourself with it, the more you're going to move in that more positive, you know, taking action type of direction. And on top of that too, it'll just show you like, that's what you should be aiming for in the long run. Okay. That's the type of person you want to ultimately become. Uh, that's the type of, you know, personality you want to just summon on the spot. And that's, you should be just interacting with women. Okay. Focus on the positive, take the lessons out of negative, but then just nuke it. Don't be replaying the negative, replaying all the rejections and moving in a direction that's just not going to help you in the long term. Okay. So first of all, break down your nights. Don't just go home and just go through another day thinking that's just going to fix itself by going out. Write down your three sets, you know, that just stood out to you and then three lessons. By the three sets, you start cementing your nights so it's not just a blur. And then by the lessons, that's how you notice your sticking point instead of just focusing on the external results. Like, did I kiss a girl? Did I fuck a girl? Because ultimately you learn as much from a good night out as a bad night out. Okay. Secondly, training to your mind to know what to look for. Okay. Training your RAS, watch the videos are online, uh, watch, you know, read articles, like start training your mind to focus on like, okay, how do I open? What are the elements here? Understand the interaction and then relate that to your own experiences. And then thirdly, overblow the positive and then just take out the lessons from the negative.